Hi everyone. Um, so it's been a while since I've made a video, but here I am. God has a word. Um, and the reason I haven't been on is because God was putting the finishing touches on the word that I'm about to give. Um, this is going to be for those of us that have gone through the wilderness. Now we're in our exiting of the wilderness and we are doing our 40-day fast uh, for Lent. So if God's put it on your heart that you need to fast, you need to do it because there's a lot of revelation in that fast. Uh, revelations about your spouse, revelations about your um, path in the kingdom going forward with your spouse, and also the reason why you've been on this journey. So um, the first part started with a dream I had early in, in the early hours of this morning. Well, I shouldn't say early hours because I work a graveyard shift. So it was actually late morning. So it was like around 7 in the morning when I was having this dream. And this dream was about me and my father, um, a man who gave me up when I was born uh, to his older brother to be taken care of. And it didn't work out the way he thought it would. And he was, he's angry, and rightfully so. But he had made a prayer to have me come back into his life because he hadn't seen me since I was a child. Um, so he lost all contact with me. And it hurt him not to be able to be a part of my life. So God gave him the answer to his prayers. And I was sent to him, one, to give me revelation that he is my father, and two, you know, to build a relationship. Now, in my dream, I was staying in my father's house, which I did that in the real life, and with him and his wife. They're not married, but they made an agreement to be together. Um, an agreement that was not in God. So, you know, how that's going to go, you know, eventually it's going to fall apart because nothing that you build without God lasts. Anyway, so in my dream, I wanted to have sex with my father. And I know it sounds gross, but think of sex as an intimate intimacy between two people. I wanted to have an intimate relationship with him, a father-daughter relationship. And, of course, because his wife wasn't agreeable to having me live with them for the time that I needed to, um, so God sent home his, his daughters. And the parents were supposed to receive those daughters by receiving those daughters and having them stay with them, they would in turn receive um, revelation, they would receive blessings, they would receive, you know, for those of, of our family members or our parents who perhaps they were having, they were a little bit in the world or they weren't as strong in God as they should have been, this would have given them the the ability or the tools that they would have needed to get closer to God. And, you know, unfortunately for me, my father stepped back and decided that it was enough for him to have me in his life, to see me, to know that I'm living in, in the same area as him and that at a moment's notice he could stop by. Um, but God is in a God that does things halfway. And you can't be lukewarm and be near his child. So Father cut all ties with him and severed all communication. So I haven't heard from my father and I haven't really had a, a connection with him since I left his home. Um, yeah. So that, that was the interpretation that God gave me for the dream, that it was because of this woman that was in his life, she didn't want me around 
in order for me and my father to have that close relationship. Because my father was. He was telling me all these things, but his actions weren't matching what he was saying. So God was preparing me. You're going to move. You're going to move. You're going to move. Be prepared. Don't unpack. Uh, because he kept saying, unpack. Put your clothes here. Put your clothes there. And uh, I was like, it's okay. Um, I, I'm used to living out of my suitcases and my backpacks. It's, it's all right. I'm good. And... Um, so then I was driving around and I saw a sign that said broken yoke and I looked it up and it goes in hand with Isaiah 10:27 uh chapter 10 verse 27 With that Jesus is telling me that the yoke that I carried for so long has been broken and now I no longer have to carry the heavy burden that I now am able to give him that burden and he will carry it the rest of the way and I can carry his yoke. So if you remember in Isaiah t chapter 10 verse 27 it says put down your yoke and pick up mine for your burdens are heavy and mine are light. Um, so that was another revelation. So as you're going through this fast of 40 days and it's however God tells you to fast, whether it's meat or, you know, food, you know, social media, what have you. And I will be doing a part two because I have another piece to this that needs to be recorded. So I'm running out of space and I'll have to record it in another part. Okay. May God bless you and keep you. In the name of my Lord Jesus, amen.